that an appropriate sentence in this case would be and shall be ordered in the amount of 480 months to life. The Washington Court of Appeals ruled the Freeman High School shooter's 40-year sentence is too long. That means the now 22-year-old must return to court to be resentenced. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremton News at 5. I'm Mark Hanrahan. And I'm Whitney Ward. Two years ago, Caleb Sharp was convicted of killing a classmate and injuring three others during the 2017 shooting at Freeman High School. Now, based on updated state law, the Court of Appeals ordered that he be resentenced. Chief Journalist Amanda Rowley joining us live in the studio tonight with more to this story to explain what we might expect expect during Sharp's resentencing. Amanda? Well, as you can imagine, this process is the last thing the Freeman community wants to go through again. The date for Caleb Sharp's resentencing hasn't been scheduled yet, but when it is, the case will return to Spokane County Superior Court. Two years ago, Caleb Sharp pleaded guilty to first degree murder, three counts of attempted first degree murder and second degree assault. The Washington Court of Appeals says his 40 year sentence tied to the first degree murder conviction is too long. This is based on state law the legislature updated last year. It says anyone convicted of aggravated first degree murder for an offense committed before the age of 16 shall be sentenced to a mandatory minimum of 25 years in prison. Sharp was 15 years old when he fired a gun at his Freeman High School classmates in 2017. The Court of Appeals document finds today says the state agrees the current 40 year sentence exceeds the updated statute. Whenever there's a resentencing, it's really difficult for victims, for victim family. Retired criminal defense attorney Jeffrey Finer recently represented a defendant in their third resentencing earlier this month. Right now, Washington state juvenile sentencing laws are in flux, which he says makes it challenging for attorneys and judges to keep up. I don't know we've seen the last of the amendments, but each resentencing multiplied by the dozens and dozens across the state, I think puts a burden on the court and, and the families, but justice has to be served. The memory of it has not faded. I hear the shots and I see the students rushing into my room to get to safety. At 15 years old, I thought I was going to die in a classroom full of my best friends. Victim impact statements during Sharp's first sentencing lasted weeks. The Spokane County Prosecutor's Office says while we may hear these statements again, they may not be scheduled as long. Now, there are still many questions about what to expect in this hearing. Former Judge Michael Price is presided over this case and he's now retired. The Spokane County Prosecutor's Office told me it's too early to say if he will return for the resentencing or if the case will go before a new judge. Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.